Hey Church, Matt here. This has been such a great week reminding us how to reach out to one another together. This week ends with one last lesson from Colossians 3.17. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Everything we've talked about this week, working together, offering hospitality, building friendships, when we're doing these things, we should be a reflection of Christ to the world around us and to each other. Paul tells us how that works just before this verse, starting in verse 12. Therefore, as God's chosen ones, holy and dearly loved, put on compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another if anyone has a grievance against another. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, you are also to forgive. Above all, put on love, which is the perfect bond of unity. And let the peace of Christ, to which you are also called in one body, rule your hearts. And be thankful. Those are some powerful words. Compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, patience, forgiveness, love. These words all describe Jesus, and they should also describe us. Everything we do for our church family and for those around us, it has to be a reflection of Christ. Go back to verse 17. Every word, every deed. So here's the challenge. It's not just the easy stuff while we're waiting in line at the grocery store or when someone cuts you off in traffic or when someone posts something on Facebook you don't always agree with. We're always representing Jesus to the community around us. Sure, acting this way may be peculiar to everyone else, but that's what we want to be, and we can all be weirdos together. So take a look in the mirror. Did you see Jesus? Let's all proudly be a reflection of Him in everything we do. Thank you.